Hello, today we are going to create this big crystal that you see here in the background and we are going to create this in Houdini. So let's get into it. So this is what we are going to create here in Houdini, this kind of crystal thing. And this here is the graph. It's pretty simple, nothing complicated. Uh, if we go through the whole graph, we have a tube, then we just uh, turn it to uh, VDB and scatter, so we can have like a, a volume that we can scatter points onto it. Let me zoom in. So we have these points, and then we just uh, fracture the whole thing with these points. If you don't see anything, press W and now you can actually see the whole fractured uh, mesh. And then we assemble this whole mesh and we do this assemble because if I go here and uh, try to uh, select anything, uh, I, I, I cannot really select much. Well, in this assemble, let me come here. Now here I can actually select uh, them because with this assemble we actually um, uh, create a groups of uh, all these uh, different uh, rocks are grouped, uh, all their vertices are grouped together to make one element. So we are grouping them in elements so we can actually select individual rocks and we can select it and even delete it. So the next thing we are going to do, of course, is actually delete. Um, let me deselect. And with the delete, we are actually uh, disabling this and doing bounding volume. And we delete everything that is outside this volume. Delete non selected. Then we transform this to actually get our shape. And let me uh, do this press W to go out of this wireframe thing and then we're using linear taper to actually make our shape and here we can actually create different shapes you see we can play around and uh, actually create uh, different things and then we just put normal so we can actually extrude this uh, not extrude but export uh, this to Unreal and then we transform it uh, a hundred times because when you export to Unreal we actually uh, need uh, to actually scale it a hundred times because the units in uh, Houdini are a bit lower a hundred times lower than actually in um, Unreal and here uh, we don't really need this assemble probably what we can do is uh, get this output and just uh, what I like to do is uh, let me put this output here and uh, you can just uh, type export so you know that this node is your export node. So okay let's let's create this from uh, scratch. I know that uh, I mean it's very simple but I know some people actually enjoy uh, watching uh, things uh, done from scratch. So first thing we need is a tube so let's get our tube and here we need to convert this uh, to polygon and end caps. This is uh, pretty standard and now we can actually uh, shape it the way we want. Uh, the dimensions we can do this we can uh, make it uh, it doesn't really matter next thing we uh, need to do is convert this to VDB VDB from um, polygons and we are using VDB this is basically turning this into a volume and currently we are actually having a surface volume and uh, what we need is actually the fog volume and uh, this is the density volume and now in this volume we can uh, place uh, uh, points a lot uh, better so if we do scatter and with this node we actually can place uh, points inside the volume and as you see we have 
uh, I'm not sure if you can see but we have these points inside our volume currently there are too many we can of course modify this later but we can do this now and uh, next step is a Voronoi fracture we need, need to actually fracture the mesh and we're going to use the fracture from this point so connect the points here and now uh, we can uh, have uh, if you press W as I showed you you will have these different uh, rocks or kind of fractures and uh, if you go back to VDB from uh, sorry if you go back to scatter actually uh, you can change uh, this number here and you see we can scatter more or less we can make it uh, bigger the elements bigger or smaller it doesn't really matter that much uh, it's uh, just uh, a matter of style and the next uh, the next thing that we actually need to do is uh, to assemble uh, these uh, things because right now we cannot uh, really select them individually we can select the polygons here but not the actual you see nothing inside is selected and if i do assemble we just need to group them together and uh, we, we can uh, just do this sorry and now if i select it you see inside i select the whole element and uh, it's uh, a pretty pretty nice isn't it and with this we can actually uh, do our delete mode with the delete the idea is to actually delete uh, the outside uh, rocks and have only the rocks inside so if i go from top we want all the rocks that are inside and all the outside rocks we don't want them because they have this cylindrical shape i'm going to show you right now with the delete node if i go to delete disable these numbers because we are going to use volume here and uh, let's see uh, if you press w again you can see your cube and here we need to delete non-selected and uh, here we need uh, the size uh, to be something bigger and you see what the, the whole idea is uh, we need just the inside and we can control that if we, uh, if we go like uh, uh, here I believe this this icon here in the left and we can actually control our, our volume uh, by this so you see uh, here we have this uh, flat surface from the outside and it's very cylindrical uh, for some for some things it may actually work out uh, pretty well because uh, for example you can have this uh, like it, like it was chopped from somewhere you see inside is uh, this uh, rocky shape and outside is uh, this smooth shape however in our case we actually don't need this so let's move our mask or rather our delete volume here and uh, I'm going to to make it something like this this looks uh, pretty good I think and the next step is to actually scale it so uh, let's get a transform node and all we need to do is scale it in uh, the y-axis and remember in Houdini y-axis is the one that points up in uh, in Unreal is uh, z-axis but in Houdini is y so if I do something like 3 here we are going to have this uh, nice crystal uh, thing and again if we go to scatter we can actually uh, increase our points and have something like this and we can even uh, use uh, this uh, global uh, seed from what I see right now uh, we have a problem here and I think it's this one so yeah now everything looks pretty nice now that we have our uh, major shape we actually need to uh, modify the shape to fit uh, the original shape if you remember here 
if I zoom out we have uh, this nice shape but uh, also we have this interesting shape in the bottom and in the middle and this is done of course as I showed you before with the taper linear taper and my computer is a bit slow because because Unreal is actually <laughs> compiling some shaders in the background so okay uh, what's going on first uh, we need to go to the linear taper and make it so it's facing up like this uh, Sorry, it's uh, a bit... I, I got lost <laughs> in the program. <laughs> so, now... Yeah, yeah, something is not very well. Something is going on. Sorry about that. And now we need to play with the taper. First, let's do something like this. And... Uh, maybe minus one and now you see we have uh, this uh, shape here that looks like uh, the shape we had before we can we can do something like that it's more gradual shape it really depends on what you need and we can we can play with this as well and we can uh, come on okay now we have uh, basically we have our shape here pretty nice It's not exactly uh, like the shape before, but uh, you see you can actually create some interesting things like this. You have, you, you have creative freedom. <laughs> um, you see? You, have, uh, you can create a lot of different stuff with this. This looks this this looks pretty interesting. So yeah, uh, we can create uh, this uh, shape. You can play around with these settings, but yeah, the the taper linear taper is uh, can be a bit confusing, uh, especially for me in the beginning. But uh, yeah, play around and uh, just learn all this stuff what uh, they do to create the crystal material. It's pretty simple really. It's one of the most simple materials you can do. Just create a new material and in the material choose translucent and two-sided and then as you see we need a color because as you see this uh, crystal is a bit red and uh, we need opacity. Again as you see it's a bit uh, transparent and uh, then we need to actually uh, create this uh, effect in the refraction and I do it by using Fresno and lurping between uh, actually this should be one so I'm lurping between one and 2.42 uh, and basically this means that uh, it will use one where uh, the Fresno uh, is uh, at a uh, wide value and it will use 2.42 when the Fresno has a uh, black value. So yeah, this is pretty much the material and after I created the material I just created uh, a instance which is this one. Right click on this, create the instance and this actually uh, lets me um, modify the color from here so if you select your instance and enable the color because uh, to create this uh, color to be a parameter 
you need to like for example if you press and hold 3 and left mouse button you will summon the color and then all you need to do is convert it to parameter and name it and it will appear in your uh, material instance so yeah this is for the material pretty simple and yeah uh, i just placed this uh, crystal inside my unreal scaled it a bit and uh, this is the result so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you learned something today if you have please like the video and if you want to see more you can subscribe and i'm going to upload uh, a lot more regularly and um, yeah, I'm uh, just uh, see you in the next video. Bye.